All right, guys, in this video, we're gonna go ahead and create the next section. And the next section looks something similar to this. I mean, basically it is the exact same thing which we are going to be going ahead and recreating. All right, so um, let's go ahead and start off. Now, the way we wanna kind of build this is, so I'm gonna start off by taking this image. Now, this is the image that we're gonna be using. So I'm just gonna copy this and I'm gonna go ahead and paste it over here, right? Now, one thing we wanna understand is, again, we wanna, we wanna define how this is going to look. Is this going to, you know, respect the grid because if you take a look here the nav bar did not respect the grid this section did not respect the grid but this section did because we kind of use the four columns to put them into three separate sections so what do we do with this now we don't have to kind of make this fall you know work with the grid what we can do is we can just go ahead and move this over to the right side right and what i want to do is i want the left side to take 50 percent of the space and the right side to take 50 percent of the space i'm gonna go ahead and just move this up all right and I'm going to define a height of 600 pixels. Now, if you want, you can definitely go ahead and decide to make sure that this can be, you know, based on a percentage of the height, but I'm just going to say 600 because I think that's a number that looks good. Now you can make this 700 or 400 or 500, but I think 600 is a really good number. So I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate this so that we add some properties over here. So I'm going to go ahead and here in the experience, I'm going to say, this is actually, uh, I think philosophy. Okay, and I'm gonna say um, content width is going to be 50%, right? And we want this to be like 50%. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make a rectangle, which is going to be the next section over here, over here, okay? All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and just quickly place this. So we wanna make sure that the height is 600 and I'm gonna go ahead and move this, right? So this is what we have now. This is gonna be our left side and the, okay, the content width is 50% and also we want the uh, uh, height to be 60%, all right? Sorry, six, 600, not, sorry, my bad, 600 px pixels, right? Now, this still is still going to respect the maximum width of 1920, which means it's going to keep expanding to 1920 until it reaches 1920 pixels. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and just add a color to this. And I'm just going to go ahead and pick the same color that we have. Just going to copy this and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just paste this. Now, since this is a new color, I'm going to add this to the color palette and I'm going to say a uh, peach color. All right. Um, or you can just say peach accent. That should be fine. Okay, great. Then we're going to add in some text. So I'm going to grab this, which is the H2 or the second level heading. We'll copy that and oops, uh, let's paste it over here. Okay, now obviously you want to change the color. Now I'm going to go ahead and use the level one color for all this. I don't want to use a pure black. Okay, and the next thing I'm going to do is just going to go ahead and copy this, which says philosophy and values. All right, now let's go ahead and space this. So how do you want to space this? Um, I'm going to start off by giving it 72 pixels from the left, all right? Because 72 pixels is what we have been using, all right? And also on top, I've given it a padding of 120 and I'm gonna do the same thing over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just move this up to its 120, right? Great, now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, copy some text over here, which is this paragraph text, copy that and paste. I don't know why it keeps going to the top, anyway. So here I'm gonna be using a different color because this is quite light. So I'm going to go and grab this right copy this and go ahead and paste this oh uh, paste it over here all right and i'm going to go ahead and add this to our color palette and call this dark gray all right and uh, i'm just going to move the light gray and dark gray together now why are we changing the color because we want to take a look at a, something called as accessibility so here is an accessibility color tool which basically means it tells you if your color combination passes the contrast ratio. So for anybody who's basically reading text should be able to clearly legibly read what is displayed on the interface. And if it does not pass the contrast ratio, that means it's a bad color combination. So let's go ahead and check that out. Now, if this was actually light gray, as you can see over here, it is light gray. I'm gonna copy this color code. Now this is gonna be the foreground color, okay? And I'm gonna come and select this color, which is the peach accent, copy that. And I'm gonna paste that. 
Okay. Now, as you can see, it says that it does not, it fails the WCAG and as WCAG is the web contrast accessibility guidelines. It says that a minimum of 4.5 is to one is needed now, but for us, we have 2.94 is to one. So what I did was I selected this and I increased the color of change the color of this to this dark gray, right? And if I copy this and now if I paste this over here, you can see that it passes the ratio of 4.5 is to one because this is 5.21 is to one. So that's the reason I had to change the color, right? So make sure your content is accessible. I'm gonna go ahead and change this to dark gray. Now I'm gonna go, I actually go ahead and copy this color, all right? Sorry, copy this text, and I'm gonna go ahead and paste it over here, okay? And how much spacing do we want? We want around 24 pixels. I'm just gonna go ahead and move this until it becomes 24. Now you can set this to 16 as well, but I think 24 is a good number. Also, I'm going to move this over and we want to make sure that it is 72 on the other side as well. So I'm going to hold down control and just keep increasing it until it's 72. There we go. And it is 72. Great. Now, the next thing here is that we have this text that says more about me. Okay. Let's go ahead and create that. All right. Um, this is a simple, oh, this is 18 pixels. So we're going to go ahead and set this to be 18 pixel paragraph. Okay. And this button is actually 16 pixels. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this. And I'm just going to say more about me. And I'm going to double click on this edge to kind of collapse it. And I'm going to set this to level one color. And this is going to be paragraph 16 pixels. Okay. Now, how much distance should it be? We want this to be 120 pixels from the top, which means we want this also to be 120 pixels from the bottom so that we maintain good amount of consistency. Now, I'm also going to add a line okay, by pressing L on the keyboard, which is give me the line tool. I'm just going to go ahead and create a small line like so okay and i'm gonna go ahead and change this to light gray okay and maybe move this a little bit down like four pixels and uh, then we can go ahead and select these two and group them by pressing ctrl g and now this can be 120 pixels from the bottom right so this is pretty much how it is going to look right so we're going to have an inner padding of 72 on the left and right and 120 on the top and bottom and this is going to be 600 pixels tall and it's going to take up the entire width so this is pretty much how we want to do it now, one last step, let's select all this, right click and choose um, frame selection so that this becomes a particular frame. So we've got frame one, and then we've got frame two, and then we've got frame three, and we've got the frame four, which is the nav bar, right? So that's pretty much it. Now we're gonna be using this again somewhere else. So we can just go ahead and duplicate this. But for now, we're gonna move into the next section of the website. So we'll see you guys in the next video.